you've got a lot of complimentary football Sunday with the offense holding the ball a long time, but with the defense, how much of that is something you can build on and how much of that was maybe what you're hoping to see and see more of as you go down the stretch of the season? Well, I mean, I think when you touch on complimentary football, <clears throat> you know, we have to get into drives. Obviously, we started, you know, fast offensively with the, uh, with the touchdown. Um, you know, I mean, I think whether you're getting stops, whether you're getting three and outs, whether you're getting turnovers, um, but there's, a, you know, there's some semblance of, you know, complimentary football. We were making our kicks, we were kicking touchbacks. Um, you know, there were a lot of things that we can, you know, hope to build on. Colts defense has been living on takeaways. Mm -hmm. You put an extra emphasis with the offense this week on taking care of the football, not putting it in harm's way. Well, you know, I mean, I think that that's something that they've been known for. They do a fantastic job. You know, obviously, um, you know, Leonard is, is outstanding at it. Um, and, and the rest of the, the unit, you know, it, it looks like they're all uh, looking for opportunities. You know, whether they get them or not, they have gotten um, a lot, you know, leading the league. Uh, we understand how, how critical that's going to be to be able to take care of the ball, but, you know, also be able to try to, you know, run with it. You can't run with two hands on it and rolled over, you know, the entire time. So we're going to have to try to be aggressive with it, but but also take care of it. Allen and Mahomes uh, attempted a lot of passes. Wentz hasn't been doing that. Important for you guys to kind of shape the game in order for the pass rush to be able to That would be, you know, and until you get the situation, the game situation that, you know, would dictate a team that would have to throw. Um, you know, they have three, three amazing backs. Obviously, Taylor is going to, Probably be you know get the bulk of that, but but you know, Hines goes in and has his plays, and and Mac has been able to go in there and spell those guys, and then you know they've done such a great job being able to run the football that the the play action pass would complement that, and and they've hit shots downfield or they've gotten you know long defensive pass interference penalties. What makes Hines problematic? <clears throat> well, he's just not a receiving back. I mean, they'll run their offense with him. They'll run the football with him. They they find ways, creative ways, to get him the football, um, and, and he's a, he's a good player. You know, what I mean, he's a good returner, he's a punt returner. He is a um, you know skilled athlete. He catches the ball easy. He runs really good routes, and um, you know he's always you know giving us problems. How much difference maybe look from a mobility standpoint from when you faced him and, and effectiveness standpoint? I, I think obviously much more effective. You know, I mean, doing doing a really nice job, and I think that. His health probably has a, you know, big reason to do with that. I think also, um, you know, their ability just to, you know, kind of improve as the season's gone on. This is, a, you know, a much better football team uh, in, in all phases, you know, than the one that we saw. And um, you know, that was a difficult test then. You know, they're essentially 4-0. You know, they won four games in a row. I know they lost to the Ravens, but, you know, they played outstanding. They just unfortunately... Um, you know, ran into a tough night with, with how Lamar played there in the second half. With that offensive line, they're getting Quentin Nelson back. How much does he <clears throat> kind of change or improve that offensive line, especially from a physicality standpoint? Well, I think he brings a, a demeanor and attitude. I think he's one, you know, was a Pro Bowl player, um, somebody, you know, a captain. Um, so it looked like, you know, he gave them a, you know, shot energy, a physicality, you see him finishing and, and, and trying to, to move people off the line of scrimmage. You only given up to, uh, one sack total over the last two games, and didn't quite go that well over the first four. What's happened to such a drastic improvement? We, you know, we touched on this. I, we're focused on the Colts, and I, it's going to be a huge challenge to protect these guys. They got a bunch of edge guys that that play hard, that rotate in there. Uh, Buckner is obviously a very gifted, long player, and so. You know, right now our focus is on improving. You know, to to your point, to your question, we have improved in that area. I think obviously, um, it starts with the protection. It starts with guys getting into routes. You know, recognizing man or zone, being open. You know, when the quarterback needs to throw the football, all of those things that we're going to have to do. You know, this week to try to, uh, you know, help slow slow some of that pass rush down. Can you mention leverage and uh, you know looking for help for Molden earlier in the year when he was struggling a bit? Wondering if you've seen improvement in, in those regards from him, uh, you know, over the last few games. Yeah, I mean, I think Elijah's in, improved and, and has, you know, helped us. And when we've 
when we've blitzed them and, and in the zone coverage, being able to reroute guys and then, you know, obviously, you know, hold up in man. You make it a point of emphasis at all with the players and coaches that what a win would do as far as taking up the upper hand in the division race, or do you just kind of push that aside and and focus on just the game plan and ask at hand? Well, we're focused on improving. We're focused on improving each week right now. We're focused on, on fundamentals. We're focused on, you know, the matchups that we're going to have in the game against the Colts. You know, we understand the, you know, the, the magnitude of division games, especially, you know, on the road, um, how challenging that will be. Uh, I don't know if we've talked about the the impact or the, you know, anything past just this week. How much does A.J. quickly change the dynamic in terms of separation and play action success when he's out there? I mean, I think A.J.'s got a good skill set for, for some of those passes. He's, you know, fearless to, to go inside to catching the football. Um, you know, he goes and attacks it with his hands. It doesn't let him get into his body. Those are contested throws that normally, you know, when they get into their you know, body, those are tough to catch. So, um, you know, he continues to, to develop and improve. And, you know, we'll, we'll need every bit of his best this week to, to give ourselves a chance. Watching them on, I guess, on Monday <clears throat> night, they think they drew three, four penalties downfield. I mean, how much of that is from a strategic standpoint, throw it up, see if you can draw a penalty, and what do you maybe tell your DBs in trying to keep some of that from happening? It, you know, I mean, we've, we all saw them. We've watched them. Um, they, they've hit a lot of those plays down the field. They've gone and caught them, you know, whether that be, you know, Pittman or, uh, you know, T.Y., a lot of it was the ball was underthrown. You know, sometimes when the ball is underthrown and you're not playing the football and the receiver does a nice job of going back and, and attacking the football, you know, they get those calls. And that's something that we've tried to follow the trend around the league is, you know, trying to, you know, play the football, you know, trying to, to understand, you know, where the ball is. You know, and then you just, then you run into, well, then it's, not underthrown, and you're looking back for the ball, and then they get separation. So I think that there is a fine line, but our ability to play the football while it's in the air, you know, is something that that has to continue to improve. You know, it hurt us early in the year, uh, and, and it, it'll be huge uh, Sunday. You know, that's something that that cost us early, and you know, hopefully we've learned from it. Coach, how nice is it to get a couple, few guys actually back at practice today? I know still on that IR, but just getting some healthy bodies out there. Yeah, I mean, just to get those guys back into uh, to, to meetings and get them back uh, on the field, see where they're at from a football standpoint, uh, and then as we work our way through the week, we can evaluate, you know, whether they think they they can help us this week. Enjoy seeing a guy like Mabin, you know, who's come in and cut, you know, a few times here, getting the chance like he did, and and you know, coming through. Sure, you know, what I mean, who wouldn't? You know, he's a great guy. He's great. Person, he's been with us. Um, left, came back, and jumped right in. Knew, learned what to do quickly uh, with the game plan. Went and played, and um, you know, I don't know how you couldn't be happy for for guys like that. Is, is there something about his skill set, you know, that that worked especially well against Kansas City as opposed to maybe some of the other guys? Um, you know, I don't. And I wouldn't want to compare any of the players. Just felt like wanted to, you know, through the course of the week, we, we decided to go with, with Greg and see how it was going. It went well. We kind of stuck with him. We'll see where it is this week. Is that part of the plan when, when you guys make roster moves during training camp, for example, guys coming and going, that, that you want to have as many guys out there maybe with a, at least a taste of having been here and knowing what you do, that if you get in a pinch, you can. Yeah, there might be somebody you can bring back that way. Mm, I don't. I don't think so. I mean, because you know those guys could easily. You know, when you try to to claim someone off the practice squad, you know, when you try to sign someone off the practice squad, that that team could easily make a move to to keep them. You know, and you know, or the player would then have to decide. I, I don't know if that's a strategy. I think that's just sometimes kind of how it works out. And when you look out there, you're like, okay, we have familiarity. Uh, this player's been here. We kind of know what he can do. Or you know, be able to uh, comprehend in a short amount of time. Mike, I know you, you guys have already, you know, played the Colts um, <coughs> this season, but, like, with a guy like Danico, who's 
playing against his old team, a, a team he's had history with, um, in those kinds of situations, you ever have to talk to a guy about the emotions of maybe going back to um, or playing against the, the team he, he played um, with prior? Uh, yeah, probably, you know, and just to make sure that, you know, we, we never want to do anything that's going to hurt the team as far as, you know, from, from an emotional standpoint, it's an emotional game, it's a physical game, it's a violent game, and, um, you know, we have to be able to go to the edge and, and, and be able to, you know, to stop, and I trust that, you know, Danico and everybody else for that matter, I think everybody's going to be, you know, pretty tuned up, um, whether they pl have played for the Colts previously or not. So, um, you know, De Danico's, you know, you know, done everything we've asked him to do, and I'm excited, as usual, to, to, to watch him prepare this week and then, you know, ultimately play on Sunday. How has that process come along just as far as incorporating some of the ideas that, that Coach Schwartz may have, you know, and, and the whole a lot of chefs in the kitchen kind of thing that we touched on in, in the uh, in, in camp? Well, you know, Jim's um, – Got a lot of experience in this in this league, and uh, has come in, and <clears throat> you know, just it, it, I I never really thought of anything other than him just helping out. And I know that everybody makes a big deal about it, um, or has tried to. Um, he's supported. Uh, he's done everything that I've asked him to do, that Shane's asked him to do, to support, to give input, to follow up on on post game, during the game. Um, so. I don't. I don't look at it as anything other than uh, just another member of our, our defensive staff and our and our staff that's you know, done things that to help us win, and then we'll continue to try to do all those things. So, you know, have everything that I thought it would be. It it's been, and um, you know, just hope that everything that can continue.